Embedding a playlist of YouTube videos on your WordPress website can help you show fresh content to your visitors while getting more subscribers for your YouTube channel. The problem is most methods to do so might be a little bit confusing, especially if you're not tech savvy. But if you're looking for the best and easiest way to embed a playlist of YouTube videos like this on your WordPress website, then you've clicked on the right video. So if you're ready, let's jump into the tutorial. To embed a YouTube playlist, we'll use the Smash Balloon YouTube Feed Pro plugin. This is a premium plugin that lets you create beautiful and responsive YouTube feeds like this for your WordPress website. You can purchase YouTube Feed Pro from smashballoon.com. Once purchased, you can find the download link and the license key inside your Smash Balloon account. You can download the plugin like this, copy the license key, and then head over to your WordPress dashboard. Here inside the WordPress dashboard, hover over plugins on the left-hand side and press add new. Next, click on upload plugin at the top and then upload the plugin file we downloaded from Smash Balloon and press install now. Once installed, you can go and activate the plugin. And there we go, YouTube Feed Pro has now successfully been activated. Before creating our first YouTube playlist feed, let's go and activate our license key. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice YouTube Feed. Hover over it and click on Settings. And over here, we can paste our license key that we copied from our Smash Balloon account. Simply paste it like this and press Activate. Now that our license key has been activated, we can go and create our YouTube playlist feed. Once again, on the left-hand side, go into YouTube Feed and click on All Feeds. Now, at the top, go and click on Add New. Now we can select the type of YouTube feed we want to create. We have many options to choose from, like creating a feed of any YouTube channel, a feed from any YouTube playlist, a feed of videos that you've favorited, and so much more. In this tutorial, we're going to create a feed of videos from a YouTube playlist. So we're going to select this one here and click on Next. Before we add the source for our YouTube feed, we'll need to enter a YouTube API key. To help you out, I've included a simple step-by-step -step document in the description of this video on how you can get your YouTube API key. Just follow the instructions and then copy your API key at the end. Once you have your API key, you can paste it here like this and press add. And now you'll have to enter the ID for the YouTube playlist you want to display on your feed. To find your playlist ID, go ahead and open up the playlist that you want to display in this feed. And here's the playlist I want to display on my feed. This is how to make a website with WordPress by WP Beginner. Now in the URL of your web browser, copy the part that starts with PL right here. I can copy that like this. And then I'm going to go back into my WordPress dashboard and now I'm going to paste the playlist ID right here like this and press next. Here you can select from a variety of beautifully designed templates for how your feed will look. You have options like the default, carousel, cards, list, and more. Select the one that you like the most and click next. And here we have a gorgeous preview of our new YouTube playlist feed. It's currently displaying all the videos from the playlist we entered. And if any new videos get added to it, they will show up in this feed as well. Now, if you'd like to, you can go ahead and embed it straight away but our plugin also gives you plenty of different options to customize your YouTube playlist feed. If you go into Feed Layout on the Customize tab, you'll find options to modify the layout of your feed. Currently, it's the Grid Layout, which shows your content in neat rows and columns like this, or the Gallery Layout, which lets you show the first video in a larger full width layout at the top with smaller thumbnails in a grid below. Then we also have the List Layout, which shows all your videos in a single column list like this. And finally, the Carousel Layout which is a slideshow carousel of your YouTube videos that you can swipe through like this. Once you've selected your feed layout, you can customize it even more by specifying the number of rows right here, the number of columns you want on desktop and mobile, and how many videos you want to show on the feed initially. Once you're happy with the layout of your feed, go ahead and click Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to customize the color palette for your YouTube playlist feed, click on Color Scheme here. Here, you can choose from four color themes to instantly change the color of your YouTube playlist feed. The first one is Inherit from Theme, which automatically copies the colors from your WordPress theme. Next, you also have Light and Dark theme options. And if you want to manually choose the colors yourself, you can select the Custom option and manually select the colors you want right here like this. And if you made any changes to your color scheme, make sure you hit Save on the top right corner. With our plugin, you can customize your YouTube playlist feed even further by modifying your header, customizing the Load More buttons, and so much more. And once your feed looks exactly how you want it to, you can go ahead and embed it on your website. To embed your YouTube playlist feed, it's very easy. All you have to do is go here and click Embed on the top right corner. And now you have a short code here that you can copy like this. And then you can go and click on Add to a page. Here you can select the page that you want to add your YouTube playlist feed to. I've got this one right here, YouTube playlist feed. I'm going to select that and press Add. You have two different options to embed your YouTube playlist feed. The first option is by pasting the short code you copied into a Gutenberg short code block like this. Or if you're using Gutenberg, you can add our feeds for YouTube Gutenberg block like this. And now that we've embedded our YouTube feed onto our page, we can go and see what it looks like on the front end of our website. And here is our brand new YouTube playlist feed live on our web page. It looks exactly how we saw in the preview and it's working perfectly. 
Alternatively, if you want to add your YouTube playlist feed onto the sidebar or the footer of your web page, you can do that as well. For my sidebar, I've created a new YouTube playlist feed using the widget template. And all I have to do now is go into embed once again. And instead of adding it to a page, we can go and add it to a widget instead. And this brings us into the widgets menu inside the WordPress dashboard. For this example, let's go ahead and add our YouTube playlist feed to the main sidebar of a website. Embedding your feed onto the sidebar is the exact same as embedding it onto a web page. Just click here and you have the same two options. You can paste the shortcode we copied earlier, or we can use the feeds for YouTube Gutenberg block. And now let's go and press update and check out what it looks like on the front end of our web page. Here we are back on our live web page, and right in the middle, we have the YouTube playlist feed that we embedded earlier in the carousel template. And if you look on the right hand side, we have our new YouTube playlist feed embedded directly in the sidebar in a widget template like this. And if you wanna load more, we have that option here, and that will load up even more videos in the sidebar itself. So we've successfully added a YouTube playlist feed on our web page and in the sidebar as a widget. If you have any questions or need help with anything we've covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. If you wanna check out YouTube Feed Pro, you can find a link for it in the description of this video, along with links to all our other social feed plugins for platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Make sure to check them out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.